Hey everyone, Reese here, and welcome to another episode of Control Alt Reese. And this video is going to be slightly different to the other releases on my channel. And the reason for that is that this is just a very quick development update and a very quick overview of something that I've been asked to test recently. Uh, and this is the Jaguar Game Drive, of course, which is the flash cart for the Atari Jaguar, which I reviewed previously on the channel. If you want to see that review, take a look at the link up above and down below in the description. But the part that I've been asked to test is the long awaited Jaguar CD support. So the cool thing about this cartridge is that it basically boasts compatibility with all of the commercial releases on the system, all of the cartridge releases that is, but something that's been promised since the very early days is support for CD games, and I'm very pleased to report that that is something that is now working to some extent. So let's take a look at some Jaguar CD games on the Retro HQ Jaguar GD flash cart and see what it's all about. <laughs> So I just wanted to start this video with an explanation of how I've come to be in possession of the Beta Jaguar CD firmware for the Game Drive flash cart and just my involvement with the project. And essentially that involvement is I've had a, a very sort of long term ongoing back and forth with James from Retro HQ, who's developing this cartridge. And I'm also from a software development and testing background myself. So in the past couple of weeks, James reached out to me and said, would you like to be involved in testing the Jaguar CD side of things? And of course I said yes, because it's a very exciting thing to be involved with. And you would think that it would be a dream job, but uh, unfortunately it's involved a lot of formatting of SD cards and copying files and spending a lot of hours just trying to get games to boot and filing bug reports and all of that kind of thing. And it's only in the past week or so that this project has really turned a corner and the games have actually started to work consistently and reliably. Uh, I've been given a small set of games to test and also to demo in this video. Uh, part of my testing was that uh, James said that I could put out update videos just showing how it's all working because uh, there's a lot of interest from the community in that side of things. Uh, the other thing that I will say is just on the availability of the game drive itself. Uh, I appreciate that there have been issues with that and um, that's all to do with manufacturing capacity and all that kind of stuff and that's stuff that has been sorted and they should be landing with retailers in the next couple of weeks. So all that said I will show you just what happens trying to boot a game from this 8GB Samsung SD card which I've been using for my cartridge games ever since I did that initial review and has been working absolutely flawlessly. And as you can see, you select the game from the menu, uh, the loading CD thing pops up, and then the Jag reboots. And what you just saw there was the splash screen from a game called Baldi's, which is a Jaguar CD game, and then nothing. And this is incredibly common with this particular SD card. And to be honest, I had no end of problems trying to get games to run. I had stuttering audio, I had graphic glitches, and I had all sorts of issues with it. Now, one thing that I do have here is a pile of SD cards and a USB SD reader, um, which I've been using to test this. And I've essentially out of my collection of SD cards, and I have a few because I use them for my camera, for my YouTube videos, and I record in 4K, so I tend to use quite fast cards. Um, out of the, all of those cards, I basically only found one that works properly with this. So I will pop it in and we will have a look. As I said, it's it's come on so much in the past week or so that it's definitely worth showing off at the moment, uh, but it is still quite unreliable. Um, that's just a case of refining the tools and everything else. So one thing that you'll notice about these CD images is that they're all in JCD format, which is a proprietary format which is specific to this flash cart. Uh, so it won't just run straight ISOs. The conversion tool for that will of course be released for free on the Retro HQ website when it's ready. I don't have access to that conversion tool myself. Uh, I've just been given this set of commercial releases for testing purposes. So if I go back and try to start Baldi's again, so this is a Jaguar CD game running from the game drive. As you can see we've got the FMV intro here running really smoothly and working fantastic uh, just as it does from the CD itself and we can skip this and go into the game.
So once it is up and running, it's all as if it is running from the actual CD. So we'll start a new game. Got uh, all of the menus and everything here working properly. I have to admit, I haven't really played this game all that much, so we'll just go with the defaults. So Baldi's is often compared to Lemmings. Uh, it's a kind of a puzzly kind of game where you have to build this community of uh, little bald-headed men. And once we get into the game, it's all running as expected, so let's try something else. So because of the way that this works, and obviously this is common with most flash cartridges on most systems, it's just a case of power cycling the system just to get back to the menu, but that's not really a huge hardship. So we will check out Blue Lightning, because that's got CD audio and some uh, quite exciting stuff. And a black screen again. Let's just... So again, FMV all up and running there, no problems at all. And in this menu, uh, we can go and start a new game, create a new pilot. You can select the photo. And the audio that you hear in the background here is CD audio, so that's all working properly. So we'll pick that guy into your name. course this is quite exciting because it's a proper Jaguar CD game running from a flash card. Go for medium. Of course the Jaguar CD units themselves are getting rarer and rarer because they're just falling apart. I mean they weren't the most reliable things anyway in the first place and of course they're quite expensive and going for quite silly money now. Not to mention the games which aren't uh, of course generally available because they didn't sell all that many of them at the time. So it's a really great way to experience these games that we wouldn't have got to see otherwise. So more FMV here and uh, that's one of the main things that the developers took advantage of with the extra capacity of the CDs, just uh, the opportunity to cram a load of uh, FMV cutscenes and things into all of their games.
Yeah, let's just pretend that didn't happen. Good point. Stand by for takeoff. As you can see, that's the game running as it would on the CD, and uh, yeah, everything working, audio working, music working, uh, no stuttering or issues like that, so very cool to see. Now we'll just take a look at Dragon's Lair, because that's one of the more interesting games on the JAG CD, because it was actually ported from a Laserdisc arcade game, which is quite a, it's quite a legendary game. So let's just boot that up and see how it looks running on the JAG. Dragon's Lair, a fantasy adventure where you become a valiant knight on a quest to rescue the fair princess from the clutches of an evil dragon. You control the actions of a daring adventurer finding his way through the castle of a dark wizard who has enchanted it with treacherous monsters and obstacles. In the mysterious caverns below the castle, your odyssey continues against the awesome forces that oppose your efforts to reach the Dragon's Lair. <coughs> Lead on, adventurer. Your quest awaits. So there's no menu at all or anything on this game. It goes straight into the game. And then I immediately fall down. Oh, that's a bit of a glitch there. And then I immediately fall down a hole and die. And I don't know what to do because every time I press a button, it just boops at me. So that's probably just me not understanding the game. Oh, same glitch in the same place. Now there are a few games on this list that are known to not be working. Um, Hover Strike is one of them, uh, World Tour Racing is another one I think. Uh, but Mist is a lot of fun, that was one that I was playing with the other day. So this game's been working really reliably for me. Uh, I think this has actually booted first time every single time I've tried it, which is an indication of what we should hopefully be able to expect once this firmware is released to the public uh, with all of the other games. So you're probably familiar with Myst. It's a 3D rendered puzzle game. It was available on a few different platforms. I think it was quite big on the Mac at the time. It uses CD audio for the sound effects and some of the music that pops up at some points in the game. And everything's just running perfectly fine, uh, loading very quickly, no issues at all there. And uh, I've made quite a lot of progress in this game a couple of times that I've played it.
and I tried this on a couple of other SD cards and even though it was loading I was running into all sorts of issues with graphical corruption and issues with the sound effects and stuff so at the moment it is still very uh, dependent on the SD card that you use. But yeah it's all working great on this Samsung Evo card, 32 gig. so yeah um, plenty of room on there for various games. I'll just do one more and I think we'll take a look at Iron Soldier 2 just because that was a pretty big game on the JAG CD. It takes a little bit longer to load. So as you can see that loaded first time with no issues whatsoever so that's fantastic. Uh, the FMV, uh, yet another game with a nice pre 3D rendered FMV intro and that's all running great, no skips, no issues with the audio whatsoever so really cool there. Uh, we'll just skip ahead and check out the actual game itself. Terrorists are using abandoned factories outside of town to build a new high-speed walker. Oh, well, better put a stop to that. Now, of course, I've never owned a, a real Jag CD, so I've never actually played this game, uh, other than in the testing that I've been doing in the past week or so. So quite exciting. So there we go, one of the more graphically impressive games on the Jag, Iron Soldier 2, and as you can hear the CD audio is working perfectly, the, uh, as you can see all the graphics are working great, so perfectly playable uh, like most of the games on the list. So lastly I just wanted to end this video by thanking James from RetroHQ for all of his hard work on this and also for letting me get involved in the testing of this, uh, but mostly for letting me put this video together. Um, obviously this is something that's still in very much active development and it still has some issues hence it hasn't been released publicly yet um, and it was very good of him to let me show everyone the state that it was in at the moment but uh, hopefully you'll agree that uh, there's a huge amount of promise here and it's really not far off uh, looking like it's all going to be working so that's 
really, really great to see. I'd also just like to give a shout out and another big thanks, of course, to Matt Smith, who goes by at Jagfumes over on Twitter. Uh, he's very, very actively involved in the testing of this, uh, much more than I have been. He has a big collection of Jaguar homebrew and prototypes on CD, and he's been ripping those and imaging them and converting them and testing them and passing anything on to James uh, just to get those working. So that's a really, really huge amount of work on his side. Um, to be honest, I'm just dabbling in this and just helping out where I can, but he's really been the driving force behind the testing of this. So uh, yeah, really helpful work there. So thank you very much to Matt. So I hope this has been a useful update on the current situation with the Jaguar CD support on the game drive. Um, I'm sure you'll agree it's all looking very good. Um, hopefully more of those carts will be getting into people's hands in the next few weeks as they start to arrive at retailers, which is really, really fantastic. And finally, I just wanted to say thank you for joining me. I'm not sure if I'll be doing more of these update videos in the future. I may well do if there's a lot of interest in this, uh, but I will be putting together a review on the game drive once the Jag CD support is finalized and released properly. So. Uh, hopefully that's not too far off. So finally, thank you very much for joining me, and hopefully I'll see you again soon.